Check in uh, now with uh, Joseph on another fantastic summer day out there, but you're saying maybe a, a little hotter this week. A little hotter this week, but it was a wonderful weekend, not only today, yesterday, kind of cloudy, a little bit cooler, but pleasant weather. There's no doubt about that. Temperatures take a bit of a jump as we go into this week, and there's going to be a few days out there that will feel a bit uh, warmer, of course, especially in the afternoon hours. So, yeah, the new week, if you're planning anything outdoors coming up, maybe you want to get to that hike where you just want to do some things outdoors, go for that bike ride, plan out to be at least 10 degrees to 15 degrees warmer than where we were sitting this weekend, kind of similar to some of the warmer days that we had towards the tail end of last week. It's the dry season. I wouldn't expect much rain, especially no significant rain. If anything does kind of pop up, We'll be the first to let you know, but I do not have any rain in the forecast. Just a lot of sunshine. I am monitoring this wildfire that's to the north of us, which could usher in some wildfire smoke for tomorrow. Let me show you on our weather data here. This is a high level smoke forecast. So this is going to be a little bit higher in the sky. Could create a bit of a haze. This is the wildfire over towards Lytton right there in British Columbia. And as it kind of flares on up, we may get some of that wildfire smoke traveling in through that northerly flow as this trough pushes east, but then it's out of here. So that will mainly be for tomorrow, and I don't believe it's going to be much of an impact, especially to air quality. There is a fire weather outlook, though. This isn't for today. This is for tomorrow, so for Monday there. And uh, there will be an elevated risk especially for Southeast Oregon. There's a fire weather warning until tonight at 9 p.m. for the counties down there. We'll have to see if they extend it for tomorrow. It is very warm and it is breezy and there may even be a couple stray showers or thunderstorms that develop there. All right, satellite and radar late tonight. You can kind of see the whole pattern that's going on. Area of low pressure that's embedded into that trough right around Vancouver Island. You can see how the wind kind of sweeps down and cuts right back up towards the northeast. So once this kind of pushes to the east, we will have a ridge developing and uh, that will help warm us on up because we'll tap into some warmer air that's coming in from the south. All right, satellite late tonight. We still have some clouds around, but we have our fair share of sunshine too. We'll have more on the way, kind of similar to last week where it was practically sunny from the 11th through the 15th. We did have those clouds yesterday and this morning. Next week should be pretty clear. Forecast lows for tonight down into the mid 50s. Some 40s, 56 for Pendleton should feel pretty good if you get down to about 46 for Burns there because it's in the triple digits today. And so that's quite the drop But where it's dry. Those temperatures can really warm and cool quickly. Day planner for our Monday temperatures in the 80s, mostly sunny there for the gorge and central Oregon as well as eastern Oregon. Again, if you're planning anything for tomorrow, it will be a little bit warmer than what we were feeling today, at least in the valley. All right, here's our weather pattern graphic. We have this disturbance right over the top of us. That's what helped cool us down this week and you know, brought in some clouds. That's all part of this trough right here. And then we have this ridge developing down to the southeast. It's already there. It's stamped. It's very warm. It's helping with the monsoon season. But we're going to kind of clip some of that warmer air by the time we head into Tuesday there. And that's going to give us a little bit of a jolt for our seven day forecast as far as temperatures go. But this right here usually represents some sunnier days and some warmer days as that ridge starts to expand. Future cast through the overnight. It's dry. Here comes that morning cloud coverage about south of Multnomah County, though. I think you're going to be clear for tomorrow morning and definitely to the east. Those clouds, they give away as we go through the day, bringing back the sunshine for tomorrow. Keep that going on Tuesday. Yeah, maybe a few more clouds on Wednesday morning, but that's about it. That onshore flow kind of retreats in and out for Wednesday and Thursday. And by the time we get to Friday, I think we're back to some sunshine there. All right, here's your seven day forecast again. If you're making some plans, be prepared for some heat, kind of a strong sun too. On Tuesday, temperature at 90 degrees, Wednesday at 86. Wayne can hover around in the lower to mid 80s for the week. So a little bit warmer than this weekend and a little sunnier as well. Need to maybe go refill that uh, sunscreen for this week for Good sure. Idea, yeah. All right. Well, the Blake